Hey there guys, I just want to show you how I've been using DJ Endo's new F1 mapping. If you want to get hold of the mapping, you need to head to djendo.com and download the mapping from his site. It's a really cool mapping and it's set up for four turntables, uh, but I've actually just been using it for the two. This is totally cool, uh, lots of beginners um, find four decks overwhelming. So I'm just going to show you how I've got it set up for two decks and how I am using it just solely um, with my laptop and some headphones. So I found that uh, the other night I wanted to have a late night mix, I couldn't put the speakers on and I just wanted to have a play in the headphones. So I set up the tractor um, output routings so that I could just have a mix in the headphones. So let me show you how this all works. So first of all I'm going to go into the preferences and in the mix recorder I'm going to set up the recording to be internal because we're going to record this mix. In the mixer settings we want to make sure that the crossfader is on because we're going to be using the headphone, headphone uh, controls and also we want to sort out the output routing so we want it to be internal. I'm going to set the output monitor to be left and uh, so just the left output and output master is right. We're going to check these both to mono so we're going to hear both sides of the track. This will basically mean that anything we queue up we'll hear in the left headphone and anything that's going out to the master which is basically the same as the record um, we can hear in the right headphone so we can monitor everything in the headphones. So once this is all set up we can go ahead and have a mix. Now my initial mix I, st I used these controller buttons using the mouse um, to adjust the mix uh, adjust um, so on the left it will be um, you'll hear everything that's queued up in the left headphone and when you move it over to the right you'll hear everything that's going out to the master in both headphones so it actually works really well and then this is the volume control for the headphones now as I'm only using decks A and B I decided in the controller manager to change Endo's mapping a little bit and I added in the monitor volume adjust and the monitor mix adjust. Now I'll show you how to do that in the article on the uh, Tracks Tips website so you can uh, have a look at how to add these. That basically now means that I can just use uh, this as the uh, headphone volume and this is the mix adjust. So when it's over here I'll hear the queued up track in the left and the master in the right when it's over here I'll hear the master in both headphones. So this works really well for a little private mix uh, so you don't have to upset anybody. And this is how it all works. We can uh, select which deck we want to control which also jumps the cue uh, monitor for the headphones. So we can uh, jump to deck A. I'm going to load a track into deck A. As soon as we turn the browser knob it actually sets into browser mode. So I'm just going to put this track and load it into deck A by shift and hitting this. Now I can actually, with the fader down, I can actually hear this track if I just jump to Q1. Okay, so I can hear this in the headphones but you can't hear it in the record. We're going to start the recording and I'm going to bring this in. So now you should be able to hear that and as I brought that in I was able to hear it in my right headphone as well as the left. Now if I jump to control deck B I can only hear track A in my right headphone right now because the cue on the right deck is set up to cue and listen to what's in the left headphone. So if I select another track here, let's grab this one, I'm going to load that into deck B and I can jump to the first now the filter, uh, sorry, the fader is down, so I can jump to this, and I can hear this track now, deck B, in my left headphone. Now the filter, I'm going to use the filters here for using as EQs basically. So if I take the bass out of my track that I'm queuing in, I can hear it in the headphones, and I'm going to want to bring it in. So as I bring it in, I slowly hear it creep into my right headphone as well. I 
and if I want to hear how it sounds in the whole mix, I can just turn over, turn this round to this way, and I hear fully in the headphones how the master output sounds. So if I want to take the bass out, I can go with the filter, bring this more in, and I can bring the bass in on this one. And we can set loops, so if I jump to this, I'm going to set a four bar loop. And I can make the loop bigger if I want to. jump back to key different cue points. And all the while I'm monitoring and I can use this to monitor the cueing. And it's just a perfect way to play without annoying anybody else. You can use it on the train, on the bus, and uh, you can record an entire set this way, which I did, and uh, you can check out that mix on Tractor Tips on the uh, on the review page of the F1 mapping from Ender. So I definitely recommend you check out this mapping from Endo. There's a hell of a lot more you can do on it. You can change the uh, key and. Uh, mess around with the flux and uh, there's a lot of cool stuff on there so um, I won't go into it too much detail because Endo's video covers everything so you can watch Endo's video on that too but uh, yeah having played with it for a little little while here and uh, completing that entire 40 minute set just using this setup it's definitely something that I recommend uh, to you guys <laughs>